fellow Americans. I am your host and president, Nolan Ellis Collins. I welcome back to Skizzy. Hope everyone had an absolute banging Christmas break. Now it's time to get this new year off to a bang. Ah! And I'm your co-host, Grace Nurse. Shout out to Mr. Stanley. And now we're kind of pulling it over to Cameron and McKenzie for current events. Good morning, I'm Mackenzie williams Ryan. And I'm Cameron Carpenter. And, and these, these are, are your current, current events. events. Unfortunately, on New Year's Eve, Betty White passed away. Well, we'll have a short moment of silence for her. Anyways, we hope you all had a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. January 8th is Saturday school and the first semester ends on January 13th. No school for students on January 14th because of Professional Development Day. School will not resume until January 17th. Report cards are dispersed on January 21st. Get those grades up. And now, for what you all have been impatiently waiting for, the weekly announcement of the winner of Gallia Academies, Cool to be kind, which will be presented by Evan the Pope. Pope! I'm Evan Pope, and your cool to be kind goes to our very own beloved Keegan Daniels. He's always grimmicked up with a smile on his face. His heart is filled with joy as he interacts with the other patrons from the school. He's a bona fide, idyllic human being. You can feel his zealous presence as soon as he walks in the room. However, as awesome as he is, he's taken. Sorry, ladies. Shout out to Nick Hobel. You're going to stick with me like Spider-Man sticks to the walls for the weather. Hi, I'm Grace Nurse with next week's weather. On Friday, it will be partly cloudy with a high of 26 and a low of 14. On Saturday, it will be sunny with a high of 45 and a low of 13. On Sunday, it will be rain showers with a high of 49 and a low of 26. On Monday, it will be sunny with a high of 32 and a low of 17. On Tuesday, it will be sunny with a high of 31 and a low of 14. On Wednesday, it will be partly cloudy with a high of 45 and a low of 23. And on Thursday, it will be cloudy with a high of 47 and a low of 30. Now over to Kenny so he can inform us about what we're going to be chowing down on next week. Hello, Guy Academy. This is Kenyon Franklin. This is next week's lunch. Monday, we'll be having cheeseburgers, tater tots, steamed broccoli, and fruit. Tuesday, we'll be having chicken noodles, mashed potatoes with gravy, green beans, rolls, and fruit. Wednesday, we'll be having chicken tenders, sweet potato fries, steamed carrots, and fruit. And Thursday, we'll be having pizza, peas, cowboy corn, and fruit. And Friday, lunch is on you. Gee willikers, my tummy sure has talked to me telling me I'm hungry. Can't wait to grub on those chicken nuggets next week. Okay then, Keegs and Jersey Dre, take it away for the sports. I'm Keegan Daniels. And I'm Drayton Qualls. And welcome to your first week of 2022 sports. The Guy Academy boys bowling team lost on the 22nd to Logan. However, the Guy Academy girls bowling team won against Logan by 233 pins. The Guy Academy girls basketball team lost Monday night to Rock Hill. They took on Ironton Thursday. Ask Coach Warnemont how it went. Now the Guy Academy wrestling team had a meet Wednesday night. Ask Jared Smith how that went. Your Guy Academy men's basketball team won two games over Christmas break. They beat Southeastern in the regular season and Union in the Waverly Holiday Classic, where Brody the Helmet Fluer won player of the game. They take on Chesapeake tonight home. Get out and make sure to support all of your Devil sports. Now on to your local news. The Red Storm absolutely smacked the tar out of Miami University Hamilton with a 77-64 win on Sunday afternoon. They take on former coach Ken French, Oakland City, at home Saturday afternoon. Keegan Daniels says go Liverpool. Drayton approved. I'm Keegan Daniels. And I'm Drayton Qualls. And that was your week sports. Thank you all for starting your year off right with us. As always, I'm your host and president, Nolan Ellis Collins. And I'm your co-host, Grace Nurse, bringing you the JHS News. Happy 2022. 